We're asked to find the measures of angles x, y, and w using the diagram below. We'll be using the property of triangles that states the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So if we focus on the large triangle on the left, this large triangle here, because we are given the measure of two of the three interior angles, we can determine the measure of the third interior angle, which is the measure of angle y. y degrees plus 82 degrees plus 50 degrees must equal 180 degrees, which means we can determine the measure of angle y by starting with 180 degrees, subtracting 82 degrees, and subtracting 50 degrees. So we can say that y equals 180 minus 82 minus 50, which equals 48. So because y equals 48, we now know the measure angle y is 48 degrees. And now let's focus on the large triangle on the right. Again, notice how we are given the measure of two of the three interior angles, and therefore we can determine the measure of angle w. w degrees plus 115 degrees plus 27 degrees must equal 180 degrees, which means we can determine the measure of angle w by starting with 180 degrees, subtracting 115 degrees, and then subtracting 27 degrees. So we have w equals 180 minus 115 minus 27, which equals 38. So because w equals 38, we know the measure of angle w is 38 degrees. And now we still need to determine the measure of angle x, which is this angle here. Let's focus on this small triangle formed by the two larger overlapping triangles. And once again, notice how we do have the measure of two of the three interior angles, and therefore we can determine the measure of angle x. Because the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees, x must be equal to 180 minus 48 minus 27, which equals 105. Because x equals 105, we know the measure of angle x is 105 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.